with MASI here, it recently had a big sell-off this morning and it's gapping down. Yesterday, it was just at $230 a share. This morning, it's opening up here at 166 bucks. On the day currently, it's down 77 points, just about 34%. Let's break this down. This is a 50 million float stock. 50 million we'll pull over the daily chart here's the float 50 million here's the daily chart right here you recently see it had a decline little bounce there and then this huge gap down sell-off right here you could look into the news why is this stock just crumbling and falling apart so it looks like they came out with news they're to acquire sound united let's see there's downgrades here from analysis they downgrades to neutral from overweight adjust price target to 200 from 330 bucks they just recently put out earnings it was an earnings winner but waking up to something like this and it's gapping down like that it's going to trigger panic for us as traders that's what we thrive off of panic volatility we thrive off of these things with the stock gapping down that much this morning long-term investors swing traders it's going to trigger that panic a lot of people are going to jump off the roller coaster they're going to sell out on it so a big gap down like this this market opens up there's immediate panic with the selling that's going on as it flushes from 172 all the way down to 156 and then gets halted and this is where it pays also to know your candlesticks and study your candlesticks a lot of people could easily overlook something like this but when this got halted right here it got halted for three four minutes and when it reopens back up it opens up higher up here and it immediately flushes down and this could have trapped some people some people are just watching for this morning dip right here and when it reopens it's immediately gapping up they could look at that hey that's the reversal but you always want to try to wait for that reversal to confirm itself always wait for confirmation and always wait for when the chart makes sense we can continue to draw a trend line on this stock as it continued to get drilled down right here from 156 it got drilled all the way down to 135 a share and as it got drilled down making new lows on the day volume was just going insane on this every time it pushed down lower it was confirming it with volume here and you could see the stair step in volume volumes increasing and what's the magic number in the stock market if you've read steve neeson's books beyond candlesticks you know that the magic number in the stock market is three patterns of three like to happen all the time in the market it could be anywhere it's a magic number in the market so you got a nice stair step here one two three you also have a trend line you can draw out on this by connecting all of the lower highs on it like so here and by connecting all of these lower highs you're seeing volume is stair stepping up like this as soon as we see that first green candle and we rip up over that trend line then we wait for the stock to pull back what you want to be looking out for is for the stock to hold at that trend line as support and then continue to push off of it what by doing this you guys let me delete these lines here by doing this i'm going to draw my trend line right here make it really tight so by doing this you guys what you're doing when that stock rips up over that trend line and then you wait patiently for that pullback right here now you can start putting together a plan to potentially trade the stock you know the low of day is right there with the stock ripping up like that and trying to potentially reverse and pulling back here you could be entering in right there and you could be putting your stop just below low of day that way if it doesn't work out you can bail out on it or get stopped out stock continues to rip up from 136 all the way up to 150 topping out at 156 so that's about a 20 dollar 
20 point bounce within 10 minutes and i know when it's in the heat of the moment and this is going on real time it can be nerve-wracking and you could be your emotions are going to be everywhere you're not going to want to trust it your adrenaline's going to be pumping that's why i'm saying this is more of a risky trade a high stakes trade but it pays big reward and how do you get your target on something like this i've taught you guys by using the fibonacci tool using it to measure moves you could easily measure from this morning's opening price up here at 172 measure it all the way down to the low here your price target is probably going to be at that 50 percent right there 50 percent or you could do the golden ratio what i like to do it's just the 50% because anytime I measure a move like this, I'm at least looking for a 50% bounce off of this measured move. And this is something I've taught you guys. And by practicing it, you're going to get better. You're going to get faster. And this is just one of many strategies that you guys can put in your back pocket. And everything that I've explained in this from the trend line break and it pulling back and holding, you've guys have seen so many stocks do the same exact play it's just this situation the first half hour of the day this is a more volatile move because this is trading off of pure panic this is trading off of human emotion so that's where you step in as a trader you take advantage of the situation and you capitalize on the opportunity